General Eisenhower, with Mrs. Eisenhower, arrives in Washington, where the NATO commander is greeted by General Omar Bradley and Secretary of Defense Lovett. Surrounded by a wave of political speculations as to his presidential intentions in 1952, the general makes it clear in his opening statement that the presidential summons returning him to the capital is purely military. I'm here for one purpose only, uh, to talk military affairs with my superiors in the Pentagon and in the other offices of Washington. At the Pentagon building, he enters into a series of high-level discussions over strategy for the defense of Western Europe following which the general goes into a series of conferences with the president. He makes clear the necessity of an increased flow of arms to NATO nations so that 32 divisions may be fully armed at the earliest possible date. General Ike is on the job. <laughs> 